like to welcome Dr. Royce Koop, Associate Professor and Department Head for Political Studies, to tell us about their department. Okay, uh, thanks a lot. Um, I think that my job is probably a little bit easier than uh, the last two presenters because this idea of politics doesn't require any introduction. Uh, you all know what politics is. Um, you're interested in it, even if you uh, even if you don't realize it. You all know who Donald Trump is, for example. You might not know exactly what's going on. How can we explain what's happening down there? But you know who he is. And in the same way that older people, boomers, would sit in Tim Hortons and talk about politics, uh, talk about political issues, talk about political actors and politicians, you do the same thing. You do it on Twitter. You do it on uh, Snapchat. TikTok on some other platform that I, I, I don't know exists yet. Uh, and so do we. Political scientists are interested in politics. We talk about politics. We're interested in the practice of politics in the same way that people on these platforms or in Tim Hortons are. But we're a little bit different in that we study politics systematically. Political science is about the systematic analysis of political activities, political thought, and, uh, and political uh, uh, behavior, the sorts of things that people do in politics, that the different actors in politics do. So the kinds of questions that we address in, uh, in, in, in the discipline of political science reflect that. I have some here. Why do states go to war? There are certain conditions. We know very clearly there are certain conditions under which states are more likely to go to war with each other. How can we prevent states from going to war? Uh, armed with that, that knowledge, we know when states tend to go to war, we know how to prevent war uh, uh, as a result of that. What's the best form of government? This is a, uh, a, more, a more normative uh, a question that we can still uh, address um, uh, systematically. There are other questions that apply directly to what's happening in the world right now. We know uh, you've all seen uh, civil unrest in the United States right now. Uh, what are the causes of that? What are the historical roots of that? And where is the United States going? The world is, uh, the history of the world is full of examples of, of failed states, of failed advanced democratic states. Is that the direction that the United States is going in? Political scientists have a lot to say about that. What about Donald Trump, to refer back to, uh, to him? How did he get elected? Well, we have some very good answers to that. And will he get reelected? Right now, as a lot of you probably know, uh, Donald Trump is, is lagging in the polls, but uh, there's very good reason to think that he could be reelected, even if he won uh, fewer votes than uh, the Democratic challenger, Mr. Biden. And that's a result of a lot of things, but in particular, the, uh, the uh, Electoral College in the United States. Those are the sorts of questions that we can tackle in a systematic way in the discipline of political science. So like the other departments, we do have uh, different degree options. We have a general major that's three years and an advanced major that's uh, four years. Uh, you can minor in politics. And we also have a, a four-year honors program, uh, which gives you access to our fourth year uh, seminars. Uh, those students, so this program has gotten quite big in recent years. It's very popular and uh, our students are, are outstanding in the, in the honors program. Okay, so we divide our discipline up into what are called subfields. And sometimes these subfields, there's some disagreement on what they are, but there's broad agreement that this is what actually makes up the discipline. In Canada, the first subfield, of course, is Canadian politics, the study of Canadian political institutions and actors and processes like parliament, uh, the prime minister, social actors, movements, and that sort of thing. Uh, if we were in the United States, this would be U.S. politics, if we were in France, this would be French politics. Second subfield is comparative politics, uh, the study of comparative uh, institutions and, and, uh, and actors. And so sometimes people, political, study, political scientists study particular political phenomena like social movements, but they are, they're not confined to national boundaries. So they study these across Canada, across France, across uh, uh, developed democracies. And, sort of comparing 
political phenomena across uh, states can produce uh, great insights. And this is the, the subfield of comparative politics where you learn about uh, the politics of different states and how they differ from our own. Uh, indigenous politics uh, has grown uh, quite a bit in the last years. We have a new subfield, the study of, uh, of governance and social movements within this uh, indigenous politics subfield. International relations is interested in how states interact with each other. Uh, uh, the rules that govern how states interact with each other, they go to war, they engage in diplomacy, as well as the, uh, the organizations that are there to try to govern how states relate to each other. So this, this uh, field, it deals with war, it deals with diplomacy, it deals with uh, multilateral and bilateral organizations and all sorts of relationships between states. Uh, political theory is political philosophy, the normative study of uh, political phenomena. And finally, public administration is the study of how government actually works, how government is organized, uh, and uh, uh, the people that actually staff government, not the politicians, but the, uh, the civil servants. Okay, uh, we have two three credit courses in political studies. The first is 1502 our broad overview to the study of, of politics and introduction to political studies. Uh, the second one is 1504. Uh, this is a survey of political studies that we offer in the winter. Our survey course is designed for people who know that they're going to major or become honor students in politics. It provides a, 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 a real uh, introduction to the subfields of the discipline. So it goes into uh, detail in all of those. So we tend to encourage people that are thinking about a major to take the survey of political studies, but everyone should take uh, political studies uh, and uh, everyone who takes it will enjoy it for sure. Uh, what cool courses we have in our department? Well, obviously all of them are cool. They're super cool. I think I wrote that in the presentation that got edited out before it uh, came to you. Two courses I could choose, Introduction to World Affairs, Introduction to International Relations. They deal with uh, relationships between states, uh, in particular warfare. We have a real emphasis on strategic studies in our, in our department, military studies uh, in our department. But these courses will give you an introduction to that as well as the, um, uh, the, the, the theories that help to explain uh, uh, conflict and, and peace between, between states. We have courses on uh, politics and film on media and politics, on political parties, on social movements. Uh, there's a great diversity of courses to, uh, to choose from. All right, we do have some unique opportunities uh, for advanced majors and honors students. We have a brand new co-op program. Uh, uh, so that would be available to you uh, if you did uh, enter one of those programs. We have an annual uh, political study students conference where we have a, a number of politics students who organize a conference, a two day conference that's quite a big deal. We have election, election viewing parties, also uh, a leadership selection viewing parties, which in some ways are even better than the election, than the election parties, but both are great. Uh, we have lots of guest speakers come in. We have a poster competition. Uh, we all have a colloquium uh, where we'll bring in external speakers what to do with your, your degree in politics. There's, it's an active department and we, we certainly include our undergrads in those activities. Uh, there are awards, there's, there's uh, scholarships and bursaries in the department as well as the undergraduate research award. You'll learn more about these uh, elsewhere, but every summer we have a number of students that come and work with uh, faculty members in politics uh, with their research. And, and uh, I've had several of these students myself. Uh, we also do have uh, students groups, students, student groups as well, uh, the Political Studies Students Association as well as this, uh, this film club. Uh, I mentioned that class earlier, this, this is related to that. Okay, oh and speaking of this, so this is, uh, this is Laura, she was uh, my, my summer research student, she won that undergraduate research award. Uh, she was one of our honor students, she's now doing uh, graduate work in, uh, political, in political science at, a, at another university. Well, what to do with a politics degree? Well, the, the first thing that people think about and the biggest thing that people do is they go to law school. Uh, a lot, an awful lot of our honor students and uh, the other students uh, go on to law school. 
and the ones that I keep in touch with, they always say the exact same thing. You know, they, they get to law school and, uh, you know, they're sitting beside people that have never really thought about, thought about these, these, these substantive topics. When you come into political science, or from the first day, we're talking about the law, we're talking about constitutions, about institutions, about human rights, rights in general, uh, about Indigenous issues, and, and it's a, an, um, an outstanding preparation for law school. And so those students that I talked to are always very satisfied with the choice that they made for uh, uh, a choice in uh, their undergraduate degree. So this is a, a place where people really do end up. Uh, a lot of people aim to and they end up in journalism. Uh, they go into public service. We actually have a master of public administration program that we share with the University of Winnipeg that trains civil servants who want to work in the government. Many of our students go on to graduate work both here and elsewhere. They work for political parties, they work in legislatures of the House of Commons, uh, you can work for interest groups, or you can do anything else. Uh, uh, Heidi or Dr. Marks earlier uh, talked about the idea of getting a liberal education and that equipping you for the work world and political science, of course, is a great program for that uh, in terms of its diversity, in terms of the different approaches to learning you'll uh, encounter. You can go from a class on political philosophy uh, and then the next block walk to a class on the use of statistics and quantitative methods in the study of politics. So it really is a great preparation for the work world in general, as well as these, uh, these, specific, uh, these specific career choices. I think that's it.